Hey guys, thanks for stopping back for week 14. We got the betting rundown here. Uh, we're going to start with the 49ers plus three at New Orleans. Uh, we got two high-end teams here. I believe both are 10-2. and two. Uh, New Orleans is kind of unimpressive at 10-2 and two, though. It's sad to say Drew Brees has regressed. The deep ball is either coming unwillingly or he's unable to. Uh, San Francisco might be able to slow Michael Thomas. Uh, I do think they're going to get a road win in this one. Uh, next play, Cincy and Cleveland over 40 and a half. Uh, that dud from the Jets last week against the Bengals is not indicative of their defense. It's more indicative of a dud from the Jets. Uh, Nick Chubb is going to run at will here. Uh, this is a spot OBJ could get right. And the Browns defense is still missing Miles Garrett, so the Bengals will be able to somewhat keep pace there. Uh, so we're definitely going over 40 and a half there. Next play, Carolina at Atlanta, over 48. Uh, we definitely want, want to assume that there's going to be some points here. There's probably going to be some level of motivation from the Panthers after uh, they lost their head coach to a firing this week. Uh, maybe show that they have a little bit of heart. Either way, the Atlanta defense is still extremely exploitable. In the first matchup, uh, the turnovers killed them, but they moved the ball at will. Atlanta is going to get Austin Hooper back, so their passing game is going to be back in sync. Uh, take over 48 there. Next play, uh, next game is Miami at the Jets. We're going to take both Miami plus five and a half and over 45. Uh, the the Jets, they stop the run well, but Miami is unable to run no matter what. They just end up slinging it every game, and the Jets are beatable that way. Uh, Miami's going to be able to score some points. They might win outright. They're going to keep it close enough, though, that five and a half is plenty. Over 45, uh, the the Dolphins defense is still a joke so even the Jets will score some points they'll bounce back from last week's complete dud next play we got the Chargers at Jacksonville uh, we're gonna take the home dog plus three here that line moved towards the Chargers I'm not sure why uh, the Chargers the, they simply put find a way to make sure they lose late in every game uh, that streak will continue here and uh, I think DJ Chark actually has a nice game here, despite uh, Casey Hayward and coverage. Uh, we already covered the Titans in the play of the week. Last play, we've got Seattle minus one at the Rams on Sunday night. Uh, the Rams looked better against a lowly Cardinal team last week, but make no mistake, this is not a great football team. Uh, their winning record is probably not indicative of their overall ability. Seattle... Uh, the, as much grief as I give that coaching staff, they did call uh, they did call the best game on offense of the year last week. They're getting Rashad Penny involved. He adds an element of explosiveness to that offense. And we have Russell Wilson. Even if it's a close game, we're going to bet on him over Goff to get it done late in the game. Last play of the week, Seahawks plus one. A good, I'm sorry, minus one. Good luck, guys. Hope you smash this week.